hello hello welcome back to a brand new video in case you're new around here my name is sophie welcome thanks for clicking on this video i make lifestyle content beauty style i do hauls vlogs all the sorts of normal things that us youtubers do but today i am sitting down for my very first sit down video of 2022 i am sharing with you things that elevate my life kind of like an old school favorites video but a little different because they're not all products um some of them are like non-tangible things or things that i've implemented into my life habits kind of things like that so i'm really excited to share them with you I did a video just like this almost exactly a year ago to the day um, is when I posted that video. I was actually inspired by my friend Bethany to recreate this video again and do like an updated version of it. It's kind of like a full circle moment that I inspired her to make it and then she re-inspired me to make another one. So anyway, thanks Bethany for the reminder that I should do another one of these videos, but I'm really excited to share a bunch of these favorites with you. They're all things that have seriously like upgraded my life and just made my life better in general. I'm excited to dive in, but before we do, I wanna thank Dossier for working with me on this video. I'm so excited to be working with Dossier again. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been working with Dossier for quite some time now, and I'm just, I'm just blessed, you know? I feel very grateful to be working with them. Just in case you have not yet heard all about Dossier, let me tell you. They're an amazing fragrance company that recreates iconic designer scents, but at a fraction of the price and in their own clean, sustainable formula that is non-toxic. They have fragrances inspired by Tom Ford, Joe Malone, Gucci, Lilabo, Diptyque, like the list goes on. They pretty much have every single designer that I can think of on there. This particular fragrance is inspired by Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt, and this one is called Woody Sage by Dossier, and when I tell you, it's so spot on. Like, if I had the Joe Malone version side by side I don't think I would be able to tell a difference like it's so beautiful the Joe Malone version is I think a hundred dollars or maybe a little bit more for about the same size and this one is only twenty nine dollars I'll give you some of the notes on this one it says fig tree grapefruit marine notes ambrette clary sage and amberwood are all of the notes here and I actually haven't sprayed on any yet today so let me do a little Oh, it's so fresh and clean smelling. I love it. And all of Dossier scents are very long lasting as well. I know that the sweater is going to smell like this like until I wash it for sure. All of the Dossier fragrances are cruelty free, vegan, paraben free, flathlete free, and they're made in France with really nice high quality ingredients. And they offer free returns, which is great because it can be kind of tricky like ordering a scent online if you've never smelled it before. So I love that. I can never do a Dossier ad and not like talk about the magnetic cap. I just think it's so fun and it like elevates the packaging so much. I know you guys are gonna love Dossier just as much as I do, so I will leave a code here. This is my discount code, and I will also leave a little link in the description for you guys to check them out. Thanks so much again to Dossier for working with me on this video. Now let's jump into the rest of the things that elevate my life. I'm gonna share with you like 10-ish things. Some of them are connected to each other and they kind of build on each other, so you'll see when we get going, but I'm excited to share. I will say from my last video that I did exactly one year ago, every single thing that I talked about there, I'm still using and loving like consistently. So I thought that was really cool. So if you haven't seen that video yet, definitely go back and check it out. I will link it below in the description. It's almost hard for me not to include some of the things that I talked about in the last video a year ago because I'm still using them and loving them so much currently. So there actually is one thing that was in the last video that I'm keeping in this video. And another thing that I wanted to put in, but I'm not technically, is my Hydro Flask. So this is just like an honorable mention to my Hydro Flask. I've been loving it so much. I use it every single day of my life. I don't know what I would do without it. I wouldn't be drinking any water. I would be a parched little raisin if I didn't have this Hydro Flask in my life. So cannot recommend it enough. It keeps my water so cold. I put ice in it early, early this morning. It's now currently almost four o'clock and there's still ice in there. So I love that. My goal is always to drink three of these a day, but that's besides the point I'm getting off track. So just wanted to give an honorable mention to my hydro flask because I would feel bad if I didn't share with you that I'm still obsessed with this, just as obsessed as I was a year ago. And then I honestly just could not do this video without mentioning my Kindle because it is such a massive part of my life. And so has reading. Reading has become a huge part of my life over the last few months. I'm just obsessed and 
if it weren't for my Kindle, like I just wouldn't be reading. I can't stress that enough. I really used to think that I was like a physical book person um, until I switched to the Kindle and started reading like 10 million times more than I ever read before. And I was like, okay, actually, yeah, the Kindle is the way to go. I'm obsessed with it. I have the Kindle Oasis. It's literally one of my favorite things that I own is, okay, there's my Kindle, my laptop, and probably my Dyson Airwrap, which I also talked about in the last video. I'm still obsessed. So I had to throw in the Kindle again because it's just so special to me. Um, I do have a case on it. I will link this case below if I can find it still. Kindle books are also quite a bit cheaper, which is great. So I'm like saving a lot of money. Speaking of saving money with books, the next thing I want to talk to you about is Libby, which might be obvious for people that um read a lot and have been reading a lot for a while okay pause for a second i just want to say the first thing that i have on my list i've got like 10 bullet points and the first one says libby slash library card slash kindle i put those all under like one umbrella as like a package together because they all work together so once you have a library card you can hook it up to the libby app and then you have access through libby to all of the ebooks within your local library, which is so great. Um, I will say a lot of them will have like a long hold time on them. Usually between like two to six weeks is around the timeline that usually takes for me to get a book that I put on hold. I kind of love it because it's like a little surprise. I'll like put a bunch of books on hold and then whenever they're available, they'll just pop up. And every time I get a little notification from the Libby app, I'm like, oh my gosh, yay, my book has come available. So. I go ahead and put like tons of books on there. You can also borrow audiobooks through Libby, which has been amazing. I just finished a book called The Perfect Couple by Ellen Hildebrand. Yeah, last night I finished it. I stayed up like way too late last night finishing it, but it was so good. And that was the book that I had borrowed from the library through Libby. Libby and the library card and the Kindle are what enable me to read as much as I do. And they all make reading just a way more enjoyable, seamless process for me. So I love them. And now let's move on to the next thing on the list. I have one last reading thing to to talk about and it's just like an honorable mention i'm not going to go to depth about it but the goodreads app has been so great to help organize the books that i want to read the books that i have read to rate books that i've read and it's just like a really great platform to keep everything organized and clear so i can remember what i want to read and it's also really fun to see what your friends are reading what they're rating certain books and then get ideas for your next read on there as well so i really enjoy goodreads as a platform i think it's amazing if you're a big reader definitely check out goodreads and i will leave a link to my goodreads profile in the description so you can go follow me on there or friend me on there whatever you want to do and we can keep up with what each other is reading i think it's just like such a fun little social media platform for like bookworms. <laughs> Moving on from the reading category, finally, I feel like I was there for quite a while. Um, the next thing on my list is my Hatch Alarm Clock, which Josh got me for Christmas. I'll put a photo of it here. It's in my bedroom, but I just like don't wanna unplug it and go get it and everything. So I'll just put a picture of it here. But Josh got it for me for Christmas. I talked about it in my What I Got For Christmas video. Obviously I've only had it for about a month at this point, but it has changed my sleeping schedule in such a positive way. Every night when I get into bed, I tap the top of it it goes this like nice warm like red orangey color for like my night reading light and then it plays this beautiful like tropical rain sound and it's just very very soothing so that has been amazing and then whenever it wakes me up it like slowly gets brighter and brighter over like a 10 minute period and then it's like nice and bright in the room it's like a sunrise alarm so it's supposed to like wake you up as if the sun were waking you up and it has like a really nice gentle sound i have like the soothing flute or something i don't know what it's called but some like beautiful nice like zen flute sound that wakes me up in the morning which has been lovely the next thing on my list is actually kind of building on top of my alarm clock which is my morning routine i have implemented a fabulous new morning routine i'm definitely going to film a video about it so i'm going to share that with you hopefully in the next couple weeks i'm going to do like an updated morning routine for the new year and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. I cannot stress enough how much getting a good morning routine down, even if it's just like one or two things that you do in the morning to like get your day started and feeling like you're on top of things, building that momentum for the rest of the day, I think it's just so important. On the days that I really do my morning routine, I see such a difference in my like mental health, in my mood, in my productivity. It just is such a game changer, so I cannot recommend it enough. The next thing I wanna share with you is this set from Aloe that I actually already shared in my first video of the year in my little aloe haul, but it is this beautiful hot pink set from Aloe Yoga. Um, these are in the Aloe Soft fabric. This is the Gratitude Bra, and these I believe are called like the Highlighter High Rise 7 8 
leggings kind of a crazy name but they are so cute and this set is on sale right now it's literally 30 percent off i have this exact same set also in a gray color that wasn't on sale um but this color is currently on sale and it's actually on sale in a few different colors i believe so you can get 30 percent off which is amazing i think you save like 50 bucks on the set and then if you use the code, this isn't sponsored or anything, but if you use the code Aloe BFFs, I discovered this through the Honey extension on my Google Chrome browser, but Aloe BFFs will get you an extra 10% off. So you're literally getting 40% off, which is so great. This is the nicest, softest, most like buttery material ever. I love it so much. I have been living in this set. I just think it's so cute. I love how bright and fun it is. So I will link it below. You guys gotta go check it out. Next up on my list is another thing that is fitness related. And these are my Hoka's. I'm obsessed with them. I don't know that I've shared that much about these actually on my channel, but they are so, so good. They're massive and like so fat, but that's why I love them. They're so cushiony. It's like walking on a cloud. Um, the exact pair that I have are the Hoka One Ones Bondi 7s, and I have them in the wide because I do have a wider foot, and I feel like I get blisters really easily if my shoes aren't in the wide version so i have them in wide and i have a seven and a half and i feel like they are they run a tiny bit big so i could probably size down one um or i could probably size down like half a size and they would still fit but they are so good i love that they're black i had them in a different color before i got them in black and they just looked so dirty and gross after only having them for like six months so i really like the black ones i feel like they just always look really chic i feel like they look like those like balenciagas or yeezys because they're just like so chunky they almost look like designer so i really love them they're definitely a pricier shoe but i feel like any really good running shoe that you get that is gonna protect your knees and have a really long lifespan is gonna be pricey i wore these all through my training for my half marathon and on my half marathon day i didn't have a single blister i did not my knees didn't hurt i was like perfect so I love them so much. Yeah, I think I'm a Hoka's for life type of girl. I can't ever see myself changing um, running shoe brands. I just think that they're the best. To complete this like fitness trifecta, I feel like I did this with the reading at the beginning of this video, with the reading category, and now I'm like in a fitness category. So I have my Aloe Soft set that I'm obsessed with, and my Hoka's that I'm obsessed with, and then the last thing is my gym membership. I recently joined my local gym just a few months ago and it has been such a game changer for me and like it just it's just so much more motivating when you're actually paying for like a fitness program or a gym membership. I love that my gym offers so many classes to take. I can take like dance classes, yoga classes, body pump classes where you're like lifting weights and stuff, kickboxing, bar, they have it all, TRX, they like have so many options for classes. So that really helps me to like plan out my workouts. Yeah, I feel like the classes have been a huge help and like push for me to actually get to the gym because I, I have a hard time like still figuring out like what to do with all the equipment and stuff is pretty overwhelming, but having the classes to go to is very helpful because I just like show up and they tell me what to do and I get a great workout. So I really highly recommend joining a gym, especially if your local gym does classes which i feel like most of them do and the other reason that i am obsessed with my local gym is because they have a sauna and i feel like most gyms will have a sauna or a steam room and so i'm like always constantly in my gym sauna sometimes i won't even go for a workout i'll just go to the gym in the morning or in the evening and do like a 20 30 minute sauna session and it feels so good it's so relaxing there are so many health benefits to using the sauna so yeah i've been loving the sauna and i would never have access to that if i did not have my gym membership okay the last thing i want to share with you is actually a two for one it is two beauty products from charlotte tilbury two makeup products i should say um the first is the charlotte tilbury flawless filter i've loved this so much that it literally has no more like writing on it it's all gone and then the airbrush flawless foundation this product adds so much glow and just like goodness to your skin i don't know how to explain it let me look it up actually and tell you what it says that it does it's a complexion booster that blurs smooths and illuminates for a real life filter effect customize your glow with four ways to apply i didn't know there were four ways to apply it but i am constantly wearing this under my makeup i'm currently wearing it under my foundation right now and i will say it gives such a beautiful glow and it totally does have this like blurring effect that just makes your skin look so much more perfect which is really nice i have this in the shade four medium and then the foundation which these are like a two-in-one because i am always using them together um, but the foundation is the airbrush flawless foundation i just love charlotte's packaging 
so good. I have this in the shade 5.5. I love this foundation because I feel like it is, it's definitely gives you like a lot of coverage and will cover up like any imperfections, but it still looks like skin and it looks really natural. Um, and it wears for a really long time. It will literally last all day. It doesn't move. It doesn't go anywhere. And that is the sign of a perfect foundation in my opinion. That being said, I do always, always wear this under this foundation. I will use the flawless filter under the airbrush flawless foundation it's hard to like keep these straight because they sound the same um and i just feel like it gives that extra boost of glowiness and dewiness and like helps it to look more natural i think probably i've never actually worn it by itself without this under it so i don't know these to me should literally be sold as a set because i just feel like they're made for each other and they just work perfectly together and melt together these are my two go-to base face face base products for when i'm like doing a full face of makeup if i'm having like a lighter makeup day or just like want to be really minimal i'll use my ilia skin drops um skin tint one and i love that still a lot it's really great it's very glowy and natural that's more of like a tint whereas this like really gives coverage and makes your face look like perfect so these two products have been a major game changer and elevator in my makeup routine so i had to include them that is everything that i wanted to share in this video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope you got something out of it i will be linking all these products below of course um i thought we'd never get through this video i had so many interruptions and <laughs> distractions but we made it through the sun is literally setting at this point it took me so long to film this so i hope that you enjoyed it i want to say thanks to dossie again for working with me on this video again i will leave the link in the description for you guys to check it out um but yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope that you loved it make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on instagram and tiktok and all the things and i will see you in another video very very soon bye